Hi friends and welcome to Pre-K with Miss K. Today joining us we have Mr. Dog. Say hi Mr. Dog. Hi. All right, we're going to do things a little bit differently today, but we're going to still have so much fun. Are you ready to get started for our calendar today? We're just going to say yesterday was Sunday. Today is Monday. Monday. That's right. Uh, let's see our number that comes next. 26, 27, 28, 29. 30. 30. 30 is a three zero. All together today is Monday, March 30th, 2020. And check outside your window today. Is it sunny? Is it cloudy? Is it windy? Is it rainy? Is it snowy? So check outside and see what the weather's like at your house today. Okay, for our circle time, I have a shape. It's a big shape. Let's count how many sides it has. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Do you know what shape has eight sides? It's an ah, ah. I forgot. Uh-oh. Mr. Dog <laughs> forgot. It's an ah, ah, ah. Octagon. octagon. That's right, an octagon. Octopus. No, that sounds the same, but it's an octagon. <laughs> octagon has eight sides. There's a sign that you see on the road that it has eight sides. That's an octagon. What sign would that be? It's a stop sign. A stop sign. Now think in your head. What color is that stop sign for our color today? The color is? Red. <gasps> A red stop sign. Let's spell it today. Ready? S-T-O-P. And letter S is our letter today we're going to sing about. Stop sign. So we have a red octagon. All right, I'm going to put it all up there because that's our color and shape. And our letters. Okay. For our science today, we're going to be talking about the solar system. The solar system today. The solar system is centered around the very, very big sun. Did you know that? The center of our solar system is the sun. The planets orbit this star because the sun is a star. And orbit means it goes around. So we're going to name all of our planets starting with Mercury. I need your help, okay? Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune. And we live on what planet? Planet Earth. Earth. That's right. What planet are we from the sun? This is the first planet, the second planet, and we are the Third planet from the sun. That's right. Mercury, Venus, Earth. Goodbye, planets. Okay, for our Minds in Motion brain break today, we have a new command. Everybody stand up. We'll review and then introduce our new command. We just do it one time. Remember, I'll give the command and you do it one time while we review. Ready? Jump. Squat. Clap. Stomp. All right, our new one is twirl. Hold arms straight out to the side and spin one time in a circle. So when we do it, we're going to do it one time. Everybody practice again. When I say twirl, good, we do it just one time. Scoot over, Mr. Dog. Good. Okay, ready? Well, I'm going to put some of the commands together. Stand back up. Are we ready? Twirl. Jump. Let's do squat, clap. And you wait for me to say the directions. Great, last one, I'm gonna put three together. Ready? Twirl, stomp, jump. All right, what a great brain break. Okay, for our story today, our nursery rhyme is the itsy, bitsy, Spider! That's our title. Itsy Bitsy Spider. Can you read along with me? Ready? The Itsy Bitsy Spider climbed 
up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. And the itsy bitsy spider climbed up the spout again. So who was our main character? The spider. The spider, that's right. He was trying to climb up the water spout, but what was his problem? The rain came, right? It washed him out. So what do you have to do again? Be very resilient. And he did it, all climbed up the spout again. All right, our spider starts with what letter? S, 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 that's right. It starts with an S, so we're gonna do our song about S. Mount Rushmore in the Black 
hills of South Dakota. The Mount Rushmore National Memorial is centered on this sculpture. All right, this sculpture is carved into the giant granite face of Mount Rushmore. They carved all these faces. Do you know who these people are? The president. These are four of our United States presidents. That's right. We have George Washington, Washington Thomas Jefferson, Theodore Roosevelt, Roosevelt and Abraham Lincoln. That's right. And each of their faces is about 60 feet tall. All of their heads are 60 feet tall. And you know why they were picked? Chosen to represent our nation's birth, growth, development, and preservation. And that's all part of Mount Rushmore that we can find in South Dakota. All right, let's stand up for another brain break. Here we go. Ready? We're going to listen to my directions first. Twirl, clap. All right, now I'm gonna try four of them. This is tricky. Let's see if you can do it. Ready? Squat, twirl, stomp, jump. I'll say it again. Squat, twirl, stomp, jump. Nice work, and hopefully all my friends at home were following along, too. Okay, next we have rhyming. I have a fun rhyme game today. We're going to say all the pictures first and then find the matching rhyme. Uh, we're going to be matching, too. What are our pictures today? We have a house, cat, star, whale, bee, and frog. So we have to find out which pictures rhyme. Rhyming means they sound the same at the end. Ready? Our first one is log. What rhymes with log? Frog. Log frog. And an og. Log frog. How about tree? What could it be tree? Bee. Tree rhymes with bee. Next one. We have Snail. What rhymes with snail? Snail. Rail. Rail are rhyming. Good. Then we have a mouse. Mouse rhymes with house. House. That's what I'm up here on this house. Okay. Two more. Bat. What rhymes with bat? Bat. Cat. So our very last one, we have car. Car rhymes with star. star. Good rhyming. House, mouse, cat, bat, bat star, car, whale, whale, snail, bee, tree, frog, log. Bye rhyming. Okay, we have three things left for today. We're gonna to be practicing writing. We have a special experiment today for sink and float, and then we'll do our charade and joke. For writing today, we have our letter S. Remember, we always start our letters at the top. So get your finger up, or if you have a pencil, you can practice too. We start at the top, and for our capital S, little curve, little curve. If you're on paper, you go start at the top, little curve, little curve. Then guess what? Lowercase s is just the same. You just have to start in the middle. And we go little curve, little curve. And our S sound says Thumbs up if you're ready for our experiment. You ready? Okay, friends, before we get started with our experiment, we're going to go over our scientific method. We ask a question, think about research or our previous experiences, our hypothesis, we use if and then, we do our experiment, what were some of our observations, share our results or conclusions, and then communicate that to other people. So we'll start with our question. Mr. Dog, will you help me read our question? Will, will the items sink, sink or 
float. Okay. Well, from our past research or things that we've done in the past, what do you think, Mr. Dog? Let's do our hypothesis. If I drop the car in the water, then what? It will sink. All right, let's try it. Oh, what happened to the car? Did it sink or float? Sink. Sink, that's right. Okay, pick up your next item. What did you get? A blue stick. All right, if I drop it, then it will? Float. Let's try. <gasps> He is correct. His glue stick did float. Okay. Tire, if I drop it, then it will? Sink. Okay. Ooh, it did sink to the bottom. Okay, he's got a toy cockroach. <laughs> if I drop the cockroach in, then it will? What? Float. Ooh, that was a tricky one. What did the cockroach do? Sink. Sink. Okay, let's try the ball. Sink or float? Float. Okay. It did float. Okay, pick the next one. If I drop the rock, then it will? Sink. Sink. It seems pretty heavy. Yes, it did. Okay. If I drop the crayon, we would do leaf. If I drop the leaf, then it will? Float. Yes, it did. <laughs> okay, we have two more. If I drop the crayon, then it will. What do you think? Get a guess. Sink. Yes, it did. And our last one. If I drop the paper, then it will. Flow. Okay. All right, let's count. How many things are floating? Ready? One, two, three. Four. That's right, we have the glue stick float, the leaf floated, the paper floated, and the ball. All right, how many things went all the way to the bottom? They sank. How many? Let's count. One, One two, three, four, and Five. So did we have more things that sunk or more things that float? More things that sunk. That's right, because five is greater than four. All right, let's go finish up with our charade and our joke. Are you ready to guess my charade? Remember, you can do it to somebody else after you're done watching Pre-K with Miss K. Brushing teeth. Toothbrush. So it's our toothbrush. toothbrush. Mr. Dog has a joke for us today. Are you guys ready? Okay, Mr. Dog. Knack, knack. Who's there? The interrupting cow. The Who? interrupt. Hey, you got me. Thanks for joining us on Pre-K with Miss K. Bye.